So thank you for coming. Uh, first of all, I will introduce uh, myself. So I'm Xavier Renault. I work for Calray. Calray is a semiconductor company that um, uh, design and commercialize uh, this chip and some other. Um, the main uh, particularity of this chip is to um, put in a single small chip a uh, large number of cores with a very low power consumption. So if you look at this, you can see that there is no radiator, no fan. So this is the uh, agenda. First of all, we will talk about parallelism. Um, I, I, I guess you know the Moore law. So this law said that uh, every uh, 16 months, the power of uh, electronic device uh, is uh, multiplied by two. So in this graphic, you can see the number of uh, transistors growing up, uh, the performance of threads growing up, then growing no longer. Frequency of, uh, of processors, it's the same. It no longer grows since a few years. Um, the power of the chips uh, uh, no longer grow. But there is one curve that grows a lot since a few years. It's the number of cores. For example, in your laptop, you have dual core, quadri core, and so on. So we think that the only way forward is, uh, is many core. So in this, um, in this chip, you have s s 16 clusters. And each, each cluster, you have 16 cores plus one for the control. And around that, you have a lot of um, devices for uh, I.O., very powerful I.O.s. For example, uh, 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet, 2 10 gigabit Ethernet, uh, PCI Gen, 3, Gen uh, 3, uh, and uh, hardware support for debug and trace. Sorry. In fact, parallelism in this chip is everywhere at instruction level because uh, the, uh, the cores are very long instruction words. Uh, inside the compute cluster, because there is several cores in the cluster. Inside the chip, uh, you have a network on chip for communication between clusters. And moreover, uh, you have uh, interlacking uh, IOs, so you can connect the chip together. Uh, so it's scale up. It's a solution that can scale up. OK, that's great. We have a powerful device. But how do you program it? In fact, this question uh, is already answered. You have a lot of way to program it, uh, either with POSIX or with um, uh, programming languages like MPI, OpenCL, OpenMP, and so on. In fact, the real question is, how do you debug it? So, in Eclipse, there is a working group working in this question. It's mainly led by Ericsson, but uh, there is many other companies working on this question. Uh, for example, Broadcom, Adapteva, Calray, of course, um, Mentor, Red Hat, QNX, Tensilica, and so on. So there is a, uh, this working group, there is a mailing list, there is a web, uh, web page and some uh, conference calls every month. And they already done some, uh, some improvement in Eclipse uh, CDT. And some other are uh, in, uh, in the way for, for the future. Uh, for example, the 
ping and clone the debug view. For example, if you debug several different processors at the same time, you have several debug connections, and you want to see the memory of one of them. Uh, before that, it uh, always switch uh, when you uh, change the selection. Uh, the multicore visualizer will make a demo. Uh, standalone debugger, it's uh, for guys that uh, do not like Eclipse, I don't know why. Uh, when it's, so the aim is to be able to debug uh, a binary without to create a project, without to set up the project in Eclipse. You just launch uh, the graphical part and it's like uh, the good old insight uh, provided by GDB uh, some years ago. So, let's start with uh, the demo. So you recognize here Eclipse. Um, there is a project here running on uh, on this uh, this chip. With it's a complex application running both on the host part and the and uh, and the MPPA. Okay. I will start it. So it starts the application, and when you look at it, you can see that you have several, 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 several threads running everywhere. Here on the MPPA, and here on the host. Okay? So th there is already a solution in Eclipse to filter out all the um, running thread and to focus only on stop th stop thread. So it's available in the window preferences, C++ and GDB debug GDB. This one. I'm make a shortcut. Here, so now you only see stop threads. So if I continue on the host part, it will stop now on the MPPA part. But you see, I I always scroll this part. It's not very convenient when you have a large number of uh, of threads. So the working group proposes something else. It's a graphical view displaying all the cores and all the threads of your application. And you can see here all the cores of the MPPA and when, where your application is stopped. Here it's stopped in the, in the core of the I.O. at the beginning of the main. Okay? And you can control your application from here for example, to resume the application. After that, oh, demo effect. I started it again. The green view displays the host, and the blue view displays the MPPA. It's also possible in this view to um, focus on a subpart only. For example, you can select all the cores of a cluster, right-click, and filter to selection. So if it, it also, it's, uh, it's a scalable solution if you have many, 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 many cores, but you want to focus on some of them, it's possible. Clear filter.
Okay. Another solution, when you have to handle uh, many cars, is tracing. Because in fact, when you debug uh, an application with many, many threads, many, many cars, often you, you perturbate too much the application while you debug it. So in this case, the solution is to, to trace your application and to, um, to uh, after the execution, to uh, be able to understand what's going on, uh, why we have uh, this bug, and to rebuild the execution after. So there is a project in Eclipse called TMF. Uh, for now, it's a host on the Linux tool project. It hosts uh, in the Linux tool project because at the beginning it was a um, graphical view for LTTNG. LTTNG is a, a trace format for the Linux kernel. Uh, but now it, uh, it is extensible for any trace format, so even non-Linux non format. I saw that uh, there is uh, uh, some experiment with the Google Nexus trace. Uh, also with um, Bosch traces, something absolutely not related to software. Uh, and it, it has a very, very nice uh, feature. For example, it supports arbitrarily uh, large traces, and it gives powerful analysis tools, filtering, search, and so on. So once again, a small demo. I will relaunch the same, the same, um, the same project uh, with the traces. So on this device, we have a, a trace, uh, hardware trace support. So uh, it does not cost a lot to, uh, to trace something. And moreover, uh, the user can control this, uh, this trace unit by software. So it's quite easy to add trace point and show what's going on in the application. I'm not on the right eclipse. It's this one. So it's the same, the same project, but with, uh, with traces. OK, excellent. Um, I just trace one IO, one core on the IO, and four clusters here. So you can see a cores on the IO here with four threads running on it, and the cores on the clusters, cluster 0, cluster 1, cluster 2, cluster 3. And you can see all the boot seconds from here to here, and the start of the threads on the compute clusters. here, and after that, uh, the exit seconds. So it's quite, uh, it's a powerful tool, and you have with that all the, um, the power of the TMF uh, system. You can filter easily what you want. For example, if you want to see only, uh, I don't know, uh, the example trace point. All other trace points have been filtered out, both in the tabular view and in the in the uh, time uh, time shard view. 
you can create your own filters, you can uh, customize uh, your colors if you want, you can put bookmark in your, in your traces, uh, you can have stati statistics uh, in your application. So it's very powerful for developers, for example. For example, we have um, an application running uh, video, video decoding. And interesting metrics is the number of frames uh, decoded by seconds. So our developers have added their own trace point on the system only to, to know those metrics. And with the, the statistics, they, they know uh, the average duration of frame decoding, but also the minimum, the maximum, and so on. Uh, you can build histograms. Uh, on, on the, the traces, and you can add your own analysis on top of that. For example, uh, you can uh, compute uh, CPU load or uh, memory usage or whatever you want. All the information uh, in, the, in the trace can be, can be analyzed and uh, computed and make what you want with that.